But first, combating hate on campus. UConn students say they are being targeted for supporting Ukraine. Thanks for joining us tonight for the News at 11. I'm Mike Heiden. And I'm Keisha Grant. They claim their ribbons and displays on campus are being vandalized, and that's getting the attention of Senator Richard Blumenthal. NBC Connecticut's Jane Caffrey was there as the senator met with those students tonight. Jane, how'd that conversation go? Well, Mike Keisha, the students wrote to Senator Blumenthal because of his support for Ukraine and his many visits to that country. Now he's standing with them and calling on Yukon to condemn these acts. Our relatives would be absolutely appalled and yes. disgusted to hear about what's going on. They have family members fighting in Ukraine, but here at home, these are the scenes frightening members of Yukon's Ukrainian Student Association. Russian flags got put up there in the place that we had reserved for our memorial, which was very shocking. They say someone is targeting displays and turning yellow and blue ribbons for Ukraine into these black and orange ribbons associated with Russian nationalism. We need to stop it because propaganda is a weapon too. And posters on campus compare the Ukrainian Student Association to Nazis. One includes a photo of the group making some scared for their safety. She's afraid to walk home after her 10 o'clock class ends because she's afraid that what if somebody sees the Ukrainian pin on her backpack? It's why they contacted Senator Richard Blumenthal. I'm afraid for their safety because they have fear for their well-being. A Ukraine supporter, tonight he told the students he also stands with them. I think there ought to be accountability. These students have the courage to stand up and speak out. The dean of students listened into the meeting and afterwards a Yukon spokesperson told us the dean and others are working with the student association to investigate the incidents. It will mean something if, if the school itself says, hey, this is not tolerated here. Now, the university spokesperson adds that if their investigation finds any violations of law or the student code of conduct, that will be met by disciplinary measures or by law enforcement. Reporting live in stores, Jane Caffrey, NBC Connecticut News.